Hey guys, Stealth 5280 here, and Quantum Brickhead just came out, so we're gonna do a Let's Play first episode. So, tips. I'll adjust my screen. Right there, I can use it. Auto save. look too much in this game, I mean, I don't know what it's about, I know there's certain um, TV features that's going along with it, I'm not too sure, I kind of wanted to leave this game alone and just try it out fresh when it came out, and I'm really paying attention to uh, Dark Souls 3, I'm waiting for that, so, but, here we go, oh, let's go to options, Challenge. Probably get my ass kicked, but let's do it. Alright. Don't know too much about this game. Like, uh, River University experiment. Man, I should have got some controls down. Well, we we'll learned number one time is killer that is true the number one killer is time it destroys us all <laughs> this is what you need to know time broke a growing fracture leading to the end of time we went after a device that could fix it things turned ugly Paul's dream was there to stop us he has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport playoffs. University. Was to be like that. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother Will was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Just me, or is this Riverport University. Way off? Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. Huh. Oh, okay. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. All right, so where do I go? Where's this guy? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Got that Jaeger. Oh, uh, it's for um, I. It's just whatever doesn't even matter anymore. I'm. Um, yeah. I guess I should go find Paul. Right, Paul, where are you, Paul? Clearly, he's in the university. What's 
the menu look like? Alright. Oh, Jack, he's got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Huh. That's... Vaguely ominous. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah, this is gonna be my first review. Everyone's drunk apparently. Forgot to invite me. Some protest. <laughs> Too many nights I've got there. Pretty strong from the wrong way. Alright. Fancy building with the lights on. What a night! There's nobody left to convince! If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. Okay. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage, and Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Okay. Go ahead, check out the chart. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Huh. I'm looking on both my screens, and it looks like the lip sync is way off. Could be my Elgato capture card. Let's see if this TV. Ooh, 4K. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Alright. Seems like if I talk to... Paul had always been hungry for success. Take forever. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, right. protest's over. Head home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. <laughs> Move along. 
guessing this is the fancy building. Wow, that's a mirror. Okay. There you go. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but... He was difficult. In here, Jack. Going up. Look at all these collectibles or whatever they are. I'm just going to all these in depth. Come on. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then. Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. This way? Come on. Let's just get to the big show. <laughs> Come on, man. You haven't changed at all. So far, I'm an interview or something like that. This must be. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. All right. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, 